Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Jeep Grand Cherokee can take you to some really cool places like biking, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start, we'll need to remove the tow hook on the driver's side frame rail. If yours does not have that tow hook like ours, we'll go ahead and start by removing these two bolts on the driver's side frame rail. We'll be using an 18 millimeter socket to remove those. So with those bolts out of place on the driver's side, we will be using these two most rear weld nuts to attach our hitch into place. Now on the passenger side, we're gonna remove these two bolts on the bottom of the frame, and we're gonna be using an 18 millimeter socket to do that. Now on the passenger side, we'll be using these two holes towards the front and this weld nut towards the rear. So to install our hitch, we're gonna be using the existing weld nuts that were in each of those holes. Now on the passenger side rear hole over here, we did not have a bolt in there since there's not a stabilizer bar on the passenger side. So with our kit, we have a bolt and a conical tooth washer that we'll be using in that weld nut. Uh, when we install the hitch, we'll be taking this block and we'll be sliding it over the hitch so that it evens out with the stabilizer bar on the driver's side. So without a bolt in place, that weld nut has been exposed to the environment and the elements, which has caused it to rust a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and clean it out. If you have any questions on how to clean a weld nut, you can check out this video right here. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we recommend you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. Now as we're raising it, we're gonna leave it a little loose as it's coming up to the frame. And on the passenger side, just like we mentioned before, we're gonna take our carriage block and we're gonna bring it over the hitch right over this most rear hole. And then we're gonna take our bolt and we're gonna slide it through and secure it into place. We're gonna be using the existing bolts and we're gonna secure those into place. and we'll repeat on the driver's side. So now we're ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We'll be using an 18 millimeter socket for all of our bolts, and it helps to use a five inch extension or a swivel socket for the ones that are on the rear. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is six and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 17 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.